Hey, it's Mike with Green Glides again. I'm going to show you a little trick on how to install a set screw. In this case, it's on a Devastator 14. And pick the proper hole. In this case, we lined it up where the set screw on our nifty brush glide goes. And I'm going to mark that hole. So I'm going to tape a. Uh, Sharpie, don't put a drill bit through there or anything, but draw a little hole or draw a little line or a dot on the wand where that set screw hits. And if you never put in a set screw, quarter, there it goes, quarter 20, quarter 20 tap. Drill it out with a, uh, oh god, what size it is, is this. I know it's just smaller than the quarter 20. That's the important part. Yeah, Christ, this cheapo doesn't even have the measurement on there for love of Mike. Okay, Mike was wrong. It's a 13 16th, 13 16th bit, which leaves just the right room to get the quarter 20 set screw. Amazon sells these and the tap all day long, for a couple of bucks. So I you know, drill that hole, but if the set screw is just going in and hitting the back of the wand, it's not going to help that much prevent glide slide. So let me show you what you want to do. All right, see a little dot there? What we're going to do is file down a little uh, valley or a culvert or whatever, a dip there so that when the set screw protrudes through the glide, it has something to fall into. And if the glide wants to move right to left when you're tapping it against baseboards or whatever, it's going to stop because it's hitting that little wall. So let me grind something down and I'll show you. There you go. I think that took about 10 swipes of that round file to create that little set screw, divot, pivot, valley, hole, whatever the heck you want to call it. But now, my fat fingers are covering that, it's going to fall into there. Because what you don't want to do is over tighten it. All you're going to do is strip out the Teflon threads. So let me install the glide and I'll show you what I mean. All right, there you go. It's in there. You can see it's a little countersunk into the glide. And you can see you got a little protective overhang on the side there to protect baseboards and whatnot. And now, you know, you don't want to bash the hell out of this thing, break anything, but it's not going to move. It's fallen into that little well, and you're good to go. If you're not swapping out your glides a lot, taking them off to clean or swat the brush, brush glides, uh, the Devastators currently have these little tiny set screws in the front that actually hit in a really good spot. Uh, and you can just set, set them and forget them, as they say. But for you guys and the guy who bought this wand, uh, he's going to swap it back and forth a lot. So we put the same size set screw, quarter 20, as the same spot as the brush glide. It's going to be nice and easy for him to swap these out and not have to create two different divots. Uh, we currently offer set screws pre-installed on our uh, ProChem Titaniums, and we will also have them on the MaxFlow wands that are coming out real soon, because they all exhibit the same issue. Why uh, Devastator and MaxFlow chose to duplicate the problematic Teflon glide mounting system, if you want to call it that, on the ProChem Titanium. Well, that's a subject for another video, but it is what it is. And this is a qu quick, easy, green glidey fix to make your life just a little bit easier out there on the, on the carpet cleaning war front. All right. You know where to find me. you got questions. Um, happy gliding.